will that matter as he makes his run up to hit the ball? Oh yeah, he could have probably influenced this in that game, but what a game he had the experienced uh, back. As now we see the new backs coming into shape in Isaac Rejumba with a strong carry. On and this time he gives it a bit of a gentler hit and it sells in between the uprights. Richard Kinyai as the sun rises. Contest at that break and now Dennis Etwao. He will carry it himself, sends a long pass away to Owen Mugogo, cuts his man. It's a 2v1 situation. The fullback cuts back inside. The try line is in front of him, beckoning, but the Warriors' defense has scampered and covered that gap. Oh, Yasin Waswa takes the dummy, cuts back inside, goes himself, is brought down, and there's a contest at that breakdown. Playing advantage is center referee Gonzalo Moyanja. Long pass away in search of captain David Wako. And the try scoring opportunity. Dennis Etuau and a very good uh, try saving tackle, I could say. But we know rugby. And we know that this game only ends after the final whistle has been blown at the end of the 80 minutes. And so today will be that day where we get to see if the Warriors have it in them to give us a final fight. In addition to that weight advantage and the strength in his carries, he's also a very skilled ball player. We see him there running across and setting his own teammate, Timothy Mogish. Action, having all this, all this rugby, especially for the final day of the 15th. Yeah. And it's also an opportunity for us to see the Ginger Hippos playing in their full, full element, their full strength. Put themselves we in, have a, in a territory where at least they can be able to get something. And uh, it's a beauty of a kick. Yeah, the assistant referee is too. And it is going to be a game that we are looking forward to. But there we see captain of the Warriors. Ivan Mugiria making a break in the middle, offloads to Rajab Kakaire, who needs to scan his options and find where to make some to get some contact. He carries it into the like a small bag of cement, and that contest at the breakdown by John Echeru has been deemed to be illegal. He needs to go through the gate, says Gonzalo Mayanza. And Richard Kinyai does a quick restart onto Emmanuel Duku, who cuts back inside, breaks the first tackle, is brought down in the second one. There's a charge from the Ginger Hippos coming up. He gives it a good hit. Is it a good direction? No, it isn't. Scores remain level in this match. Warriors eight, but the forwards now can carry it past the gain line. Second phase of play. David Wako looking for that back door finds John Echeru, and now Taufik Bagalana breaks that first tackle. Fans of Charles Lutaya. is tackled just out of, outside the twenty-two. Offloads to Timothy Mogesha, who will run into Saddam Juma, and is tackled by Henry Musisi. Slow ball for Aziz Bagalana. Back door to Taufik Bagalana, his bigger brother, who is over for the third try of the game. Does he score that? Did he lose it forward? And aggressive defense by the Warriors. Jonathan Echoro with his custom long passes. Jacobo Chen with the fan. Can he go all the way? And he looks for the stool just as he dots down for another try for the Hippos, which surely should seal this game. Yeah, surely it seals this game, but then. We could see the, the genesis of that try. Richard Kinyai sends the kick just wide of the upright. Unpredictably, Timothy Mogisha decides to carry that ball, sends it to his captain, Maxwell Ebonga. Ebonga carries not just 10, 20 or 30 meters, carries it all the way 50 meters into the half is over. And the moment they came back to the open side, the gaps had opened and Jacob Oten had a straight line to the whitewash to extend the score just well out of reach of the Warriors, they will need to score a conversion or try and they are beckoning at the end of this season. It is the Chambogo University side that will be playing in that playoff tournament. But congratulations again to the box for winning the Central Best Region. The Cops that their junior side is able to win the Central uh, title. As we wait for the next one, we're seeing on pitch uh, both teams being able to congratulating themselves, even the Warriors having a bit of congratulations for a, a season well fought. 18 games is not a joke. And uh, the Hippos as well for making nine.